what a beautiful day to begin with thank you so much for being with us and today i'm going to review recently released web series shadow and bones before talking about the synopsis let's talk about the the novel and the writer shadow and bone is the debut novel of lee burdogo an american writer and it's a first grisha trilogy book that is adapted into a netflix series so in the past also poet and writers novelist they get the liberty to go through all those cross cultural mistakes that they make it so we have to not take it more seriously also because it's a fantasy novel and whenever the writers are writing it they just fantasize the situation in their thoughts and the alina and mall both are a brought up in an orphanage it was in kingdom of waka so what happens is that in that kingdom they just decided that certain groups will go and they will be assigned a task so, so the task given to her or her team is that they have to walk through a fold so like a channel so during a to bring imports or export that route is used to bring food so that the people will not starve in their kingdom so the problem is that in that group of people there are some people who are called grisha so they have supernatural powers they can call fire and they can stop the wind bring the wind also stop the heartbeat also and do make some magical stunts that's why a there is a power that is given to her also but she is mixed that's why this is she is half grisha so during all these events she didn't found her real worth but what happens once she is assigned to this group and they are going through that channel mal was being attacked by volcra a, a monstrous creature and she was seeing her closest friend or beloved dying right in front of her eyes so she uses the powers the power of bringing light thus she saved him before no, before before knowing that what the power he has because she has no knowledge but suddenly after that you could really see it that uh, she know that mall is a tracker while they were laying down you will see in the movie mm. and during this even when they were being attacked a one person a uh, ran away from that place or that ship and then crossed the area and then went back and they found out that who oh, this person has come up who is he so now he is in another place and he is being investigated and they found out that who is the person and what he witnessed there so he gave her name to them now alina has unexpected a uh, enemy whereas the people in grisha also they are saying that oh your a uh, your power could be dangerous for yourself also and just because of you the enemies of waka can also assault you or you could be a uh, that's killed but and then that grisha leader take her to training center because the general and all this they said that she really need to go through a training and the trainer was bakra female she has been seeing all this and she said since you are from a very poor family or down to earth family so you, you don't you don't know your worth and the leader is using your powers for his own purpose maybe this channel is being created by them that's why they wanted to find out a who are real a grisha and they have more power so that we can use their power to overcome the world that's why at the beginning of the uh, series you could see they have built, built their own ship or something why they just make this one so they wanted the people to pass through that channel so that whosoever a uh, big grisha they can find out and they can use the power so now she has been taken away from mall she is now in the training and during that time she a uh, developed some feelings for the leader but he was in his own set up of mind what he really wanted from her now alina is all at her own and she wanted to run away from here and now comes the mall the tracker he found out where she is and they somehow managed to run away from the situation and then they 
found out that there is a cure or solution to her powers if she will kill one stag and then she will amplify her powers but the problem is that she has a very soft heart she didn't want to do uh, kill that animal and thus comes the leader with his minions and if she didn't make the necklace of that stag oh, she will be a slave of the leader and thus it happens that she become a slave of that person again now how he uses him he uses her and what he does with the mall will she be able to save herself or mall how she will overcome all these barriers and what she earn by not killing the stag it's all about shadow and mall thank you so much for bearing me and i hope if you have read the novel you will really understand what the movie is all about because once they adapt and once oh. they transform the book uh, characters into movie there are definitely a change and you will really enjoy it overall it is good to enjoy as a fantasy movie no need to take it seriously but take care of yourself and have a great week bye bye